Hi, this is Adam for Stone Dead TV. Now, I'm really chuffed because this is a band that I've wanted to meet for an awful long time and we've got them here at Stone Dead Festival today. Yes, this is the time. This is Terror Vision. Gentlemen, good afternoon. How are we? Yeah, we're good, yeah, we're good. Isn't it nice to be able to speak to people without a screen in front of you, like like a Zoom call or something like that? Yeah. You say that, no, I, I prefer it. Do you? Yeah. Are you quite antisocial yeah. then? Yeah, uh, but not a clear screen, just blacked. Just blacked. Uh, so you'd have to look at people. What, you should put the, put the cam thing across. Yeah. Just going, I don't want to look at you, I don't want to look at you. But it's great to have you here today. Thanks, mate. Because to be here. we're here to, for a party. This is a celebration of community, of, of life of getting back out there again. It must be great for you guys to just be able to get out there and play a show again. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's the best thing in the world. Gigs, festivals, all that shenanigans that goes with it. So yeah, it's, it's excellent. I think it'll be like, I, th I think people are, st are still probably gonna be a bit, not jumping all over each other. You know what I mean? Depends which festival you're at, I suppose, though, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So some people will be a bit more cautious, but Absolutely. That's French. <laughs> have you guys put a specific set together today with something in mind? Is it just going to be like all the hits and everything? I mean, we tend to do like festivals, yeah. You know, you know, there's there's no point doing a uh, jazz exploration and you know play it, yeah, playing you know twelve B sides, you know, uh, at a festival. We could, we could, we could if we wanted to do. Yeah, uh, because we're very talented, aren't we? Yeah. We know loads of songs, us. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> no, Name a song. <laughs> Name any song. If you're happy and you know it. Yeah, we yeah, could have oh, done we that. Yeah, we we do, could we do, do that. like a, a grunge version. What about maybe a few Neil Diamond tracks? Yeah, we can do that. I am, I said. I am, I am I said. Yeah, exactly. LA's fine, the sun shines most of the time. You can't beat a line like that, can you? He can come up bus and sing with his well, legs. You know, as, as I've got, I've got a whole repertoire of Neil Diamond songs. Oh yeah. I don't sing them very well, but oh, you know, it's more about, it's more, it's more about persistence and talent, isn't it? Yeah, and being in Neil's head, I suppose. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, can we, can we can all relate to Mr. Diamond. Yeah. It's a fantastic thing, and <laughs> we digress ever so slightly there. But this afternoon, it, well, this evening, special guests. It's a, you know, there's a big crowd out there today. Have you managed to go out there and have a look and see what's yeah. going on? Just had a little walk around when, uh, when Mike was on, who was over there a minute ago. Uh, uh, yeah, it looks good, looking forward to it. So it's a proper, uh, what I would call an old school metal crowd with, uh, you know, uh, their kids with them and stuff. So uh, we, we, we did a festival yesterday in, in Portsmouth, Victorious, which was a more sort of, uh, well, eclectic, you know, pop. I mean, Madness were headlining that one. Right. Uh, uh, and there was like kid, kids at the front and it's like, whoa, that's, you know, but they're, they're like the kids of, 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 of our fans and stuff and they're bringing them along and... Uh, so yeah, they're, they're, they're really driving. Yeah. In fairness, the kids are driving, so <laughs> mum and dad can get <laughs> battered. <laughs> yeah. Well, even though they're like 14 or 15 years old, there's the keys, yeah, you yeah. just take, you know. You've got a license to lose, have you, at that age? <laughs> well, exactly, it's a funny old world we live in. Yeah, isn't it? What do you get? A ban. 14 year old, you get caught driving, it's like, right, you're banned. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into that again. But, yeah, but we're so much looking forward to watching you guys play this afternoon. And of course, what is going on with you guys going ahead now after you've finished Stone Dead today? What's the plan, future going on for Terrorvision at the minute? We, we don't really have one, uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, because, you know, we, we just take each sort of, uh, not day, but each period of time as it comes. And right now, and, and it sort of helped a bit with lockdown, but we've been, uh, we've been writing some new stuff. Uh, you know, that, so that's where we're at now, we're writing. We've got about a dozen songs in the can. So yeah. far, yeah. yeah. And we've, we've just realised today it's ten years since our last studio album. Keep, people keep reminding us. Don't Where they? did that go? Yeah. Well, ten years has gone, so we we'll probably need to do something. Yeah. Probably. Quite yeah. soon. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah. Pull his finger out. Give it a whirl. Yeah. See what happens. You know what I mean? If we've got a few tunes, we'll put them down and see what bites. You know. <laughs> yeah. See what happens. Yeah. Everyone's happy. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> test them with the label. Go, what yeah. do you reckon to that, them fellas? They're all right. We put that well, that, we're lucky out because we haven't got a label, so we don't have anyone saying, "Hey guys, it's um, we need to get the artwork and everything finalised." And it's like, it's just as well because, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not like that really. We're just like playing when you can, 
and and because you have to rehearse to play quite often we'll throw ideas in and and there's no point in just making an album so you can say you're in the band no. is there no. so where we are in the band and if if we get if we get every so often we have a group of songs to record that's why we'll make an album as opposed to plus you play when you want to when, you know you make an album when you mean it Exactly. There's loads of albums that shouldn't have been made. Shouldn't have been made. You know? None of which are by Neil Diamond. Cause no, right no but we've, we know that. It's a bit, to be fair, though, we've, we've done really well at writing, haven't we? We've come up with loads of new stuff yeah. during lockdown, you know, because we we're, we're clusters, even though we're part time, we're, we're professional. We were allowed to meet up, you know, to, to do writing and that, so we've done loads of stuff. A few months from we couldn't do, but apart from that, we've taken the opportunity to write. Um, the only reason we've written is because we enjoy, we're enjoying writing again together yeah. now. But we said from the start, I just said, look, the, we're not, there's no pressure here. We're not trying to write an album. We're not trying to write 10 songs or 15 songs from them. Let's just write some songs. And if they're really good, we'll, we'll, we'll put them out there, we'll, we'll do something with them, you know what I mean? There's just no press, because we've done all that, you know, back in the 90s, we've got a major label saying, when's your next album, you know, da, da, da. we've been on that sort of fucking merry-go-round. And now it's just like, it, if we don't enjoy it, then we're, we ain't gonna do it. And so we're now at a place where we're enjoying it. And, and I think, yeah, next year, I don't see why we won't be able to get something out. Well, it'd be great to see you out there and see what's There's some out. really good stuff, honestly, I, I'm, I'm excited now writing it, I think it's, I think it, it takes where, we, when, when Cam joined and we did Super Deluxe 10 years ago, <laughs> new drummer Cam here, he's only been into, you know, that, that was exciting, but I think, I think this... You know, well, are, you over, are you over it now? Are you, are you not bothered about me anymore? Yeah. You over it? Yeah. Do you, have you got any young mates? <laughs> you want to trade me in? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think this is going to just potentially, you know, blow it out of the wall because I think it's really exciting stuff. Well, it sounds absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to see, you know, it's gonna, it, I remember the albums back, I remember you guys back in the 90s and it was such a, a great period in time for music, great fun. Uh, I have a small confession. Uh, back in 1996, I believe, you were playing at Rock City and I may have walked past your dressing room and I may have accidentally stolen your ride. <laughs> Of what, some of it? I was right, well not all, not all of it, no, just a little bit. Was there any left? There was, yeah, there was a slab of Stella. Uh, I was roading for another band and uh, we walked past and went, ooh, slab there. So it's been a long time, I know, and I, I felt like I needed outrage. to get that off my chest. It's fucking outrage, come on, we're out of it. <laughs> so what's, what are you going to do, are you going to present us with two crates of Stella? Yeah, I might do. That's, that's 96, right. two, 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 that's 25 years of interest. 25 years of interest, yeah. yeah. I've just talked myself into a very expensive drink, haven't I? Yeah, not? yeah. Well, that's really good of you because honesty pays us. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> no, I don't pay you. <laughs> there you go. So, pasty pays to tell fibs. Anyway, thank you very much, gentlemen. It's been an absolute pleasure. Can't wait to see you later on. Hey, no problem. Anytime, Adam. Terror Vision. Thank you.